Hello everyone and welcome to the show. How are you all doing tonight? That's great. So, we've got a great show for you all today. Today we're discussing intelligence and the factors that determine it. And with us today is guest Nav Singh, a young man tortured by bullies and by his high intelligence quotient. So, here is his story. Take a look. Bullied in school mercilessly, he can't even get a drink of water. In school, he doesn't have many friends. He always hurries to get to class, and when he's there, he immediately takes out his binders and his books and tries to work on his math problems. He gets straight A's in school, but worries he'll never be able to play sports or even ask a girl out. Hey, you wanna go out some time? Uh, no. This is the story of lonely, nerdy, prodigy Nav Sink. All right, let's bring Nav out now. It's nice to meet you, Nav. Welcome to the show. Good to meet you, too. Well, Nav, we know your basic situation, but tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Nav. I'm a Capricorn. My hobbies are science and science. I love to play chess on the weekends, play in lots of tournaments, and of course, I always win. And what about the hardships that you face in school? Oh, uh, well... Begins with name calling, followed by physical violence. Sometimes people hide around the corners and jump out and scare me. Oh, that's un that's unfortunate. Well, yeah. now let's let's talk about this amazing intelligence of yours because, as you know, we're talking about what determines intelligence. <sighs> Honestly, I was seriously born this way. It's just natural, you know. Oh, it's almost like it's magic. Well, okay, let's let's take a look and see what experts have to say about Nav's situation. All right. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us, Doctor. It's my pleasure. Uh, so the question is, what determines intelligence? Well, it's it's the age-old question, really. And according to my research, my colleagues' studies, and different studies that have been conducted over the years, I'd say that it has to do with heritability, basically our prenatal experiences, your genes and uh, who are your parents, what are their IQs. It's a lot about genetics. So the example that I like to use is twin studies. Basically if you have twin siblings and they're reared apart, raised in different states, different countries, two different places, and they have the same IQ, well it has to do with their genes because for nine months at least they were raised in the same womb they had the same mother and also it has a lot to do with environment your environment can definitely influence your IQ your intelligence level because the development of our intellectual inherited abilities definitely has to do with what we see around us from birth, whether it be the TV programs we're watching or our schooling, the literature we read, it all affects our intelligence level. And this can also be prenatal. For example, if a mother is malnourished during her pregnancy, the child's IQ will probably be lower. And of course, in Nab's case, his mother was probably very well nourished because his IQ is through the roof. All right, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Sounds like she got that out of a book. <laughs> well, Nav, well, let's take a look and see what one of Nav's close friends has to say. Okay. Nav, would you, would you like to dial one of your friends? Sure. All right. Can you see the phone over there? Yeah, you know. The number you have dialed oh, uh, has been changed. He, he's, he's probably taking a shower. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, 
Yeah, you know, a huge chess tournament coming up, so. Oh, okay, chess tournament. And I had to take a break, you know. Uh, all right, so, well. Yeah. Well, Nav, I thank you for joining us today. Your story is truly inspiring, and uh, it's heartwarming. But I didn't even really tell them my story. They told me getting on the show would guarantee me at least three friends, a day for homecoming, and a spot on the basketball team. Ah, uh, well, that's that's all the time we have for today. Uh, stay tuned for an exciting activity. Goodbye, everyone, and thank you. <laughs>